All right, you guys, we have a question from Steve Sazo. Steve, Steve. I, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Sabo. 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 Uh, you've got the question, right, Nigel? That's the question. Let's see here. We've got a question that came in from Steve Sabo, and uh, why don't you read it? I'm going to read it. Dear Mr. Barker, Hi, I'm currently using a Sony Alpha 300 with an 80 to 70 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6 lens. I also have a 75 to 300 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6 lens, and I'm struggling with taking indoor action photos of my kids playing basketball. Shouldn't play basketball indoors, first of all. I like better outdoors. Much easier, much quicker, better light. Anyway, that's another story. I cannot seem to get a clear shot. Motion blurry. I'm using a monopod as well. I know most likely the lens is the issue, but any tips with what I with what to work with? Well, first of all, let's not blame our tools now, Steve. Um, you know, it's not about it's really not about the lenses. Um, these lenses are, are super fast, actually. Um, and, and quite frankly, if you go to a really uh, low depth of field, you're probably going to miss the shot. Even if it's quick, you're going to miss the shot because they're going to jump in and out and it'll look out of focus, regardless of whether they're blurry or not. People often get confused between the difference between blur and out of focus. They're totally different things. What you really need to do is change your ISO. If you can uh, shoot with, um, the, for example, at a 1000 ISO, 2000 ISO, 3000 ISO, it's all possible with the Alpha series. And then actually, the, the Exmor R CMOS sensor is so sensitive that in these low light situations, when you're shooting indoors with these kind of dodgy lights um, that make people look kind of freakish, um, you can actually get incredible um, still shots without using a monopod at all. In fact, I just hand hold, wedge it in my arm here, hold the camera, lodge it right into your face. And quite frankly, it's better than a monopod because you can go right in on the shot and at that high ISO, you're going to get the image. Just play around with all those bells and whistles on that camera. It's really all about the ISO. Excellent. So lots of testing it out. Testing it out. Testing it out and see how it works. People don't you. trust high ISO because for so long, one of the biggest... Sorry, that's my car. <laughs> Someone's so, robbing my Ferrari. We are live at CES, so you're getting a lot of ambient sound, but you know. Absolutely. Well, people don't trust ISO. I mean, I think the issue is that up until recently, you really couldn't go above 400 ISO before the grain and the noise was such an issue. Mm -hmm. So people are always like, oh, 100, 200 is fine. And then they try and get those sort of motion blurry shots. And of course, they, they, they all turn out blurry. Mm -hmm. But actually, because of the new sensors in the, in the um, Sony cameras, you can go up to 6400 ISO. Okay, there's going to be a bit of grain there, but guess what? It's grain just like you used to see in film, which is the kind of grain you want to see. It's beautiful. Go with it. Work with it. The grain is your friend, my friend. Absolutely. Okay, very nice. Great tip. I hope that uh, suffices for you, Steve. <laughs> you ready for the next question, Nigel?